Lesson 188 The peace of God is shining in me now. Hi there. How about getting closer to our own light today? That light within us all that reminds us what we are, why we are here, and how to truly find the peace and happiness we seek. Let's get started with Lesson 188 today. The peace of God is shining in me now. Why wait for heaven? It's like we seek the light, yet we cover our eyes. The light is already within us now. Enlightenment is merely a recognition, not a transformation. This light isn't from this world, but it is a part of us. But we are not from this world either, right? The light came with us from our true home and will forever stay with us. It is our own light. This light is the only thing we bring with us from where we come from. And we come from God, who is our source. This light shines within us, illuminating our home and guiding us back to where it came from. To our home. This light cannot be lost. It's silly to wait to find it in the future, to believe it's gone, or that it was never there. Who can deny what they perceive within themselves? It isn't challenging to look inside because that's where all vision begins. There is no sight, be it from dreams or a more reliable source, that isn't a reflection of what we perceive when we delve within. Perception begins and ends here, it has no other source. The peace of God is shining within us now, extending from our hearts to the world. It touches each living thing, leaving a blessing that will last forever. It removes all fleeting and valueless thoughts and breathes new life into weary hearts, illuminating vision as it passes. All of its gifts are shared universally, so we are all one in giving thanks to those who give and who receive. The light in our minds reminds the world of what it has forgotten, and in return, the world helps us remember too. Salvation radiates from us, bestowing gifts beyond measure. Even God Himself thanks us for we are the givers of these gifts. His blessings make our inner light shine even brighter, enhancing the gifts we share with the world. The peace of God can never be contained. Once we recognize the peace of God within ourselves, we must share it. And the means for sharing it are in our understanding. We forgive because we acknowledge the truth within ourselves. The peace of God shines in all of us now and in all living things. In silence, we can recognize it, for what we perceive within our minds reflects our perception of the universe. Let's sit quietly and close our eyes. The light within us is sufficient, holding the power to grant us the gift of sight. Let's disregard the external world and let our thoughts journey into the peace within. They know the way. For honest thoughts, not influenced by the dreams of the outside world, become the holy messengers of God. These are the thoughts we think with God. They know how to recognize their home and guide us back to their source, where God the Father and the Son are one. God's peace shines upon them, but they must remain within us, born within our minds, as our minds were born within God's. These are the thoughts that lead us back to peace, from where they came, reminding us of the way back there. These thoughts listen to our Father's voice even when we refuse to listen. They urge us to accept His word for what we are, instead of believing in fantasies and shadows. They remind us that we are co-creators of all that exists. As the peace of God shines within us, it must shine on them as well. Today, we practice coming closer to the light within ourselves. We gently guide our wandering thoughts back to those we share with God. We won't allow them to stray. We let the light within our minds lead them home. We have betrayed them in the past, ordering them to leave us. But now we call them back, cleansing them of strange desires or disordered wishes. We give them back the holiness of their inheritance. Thus, our minds are restored with them. We acknowledge that the peace of God still shines within us, extending from us to all living things that share our life. We will forgive them all, releasing the world from what we thought it did to us. For we are the ones who shape the world as we want it to be. Now, we choose to see it as innocent, 
free from sin, and open to salvation. And we give our saving blessing to it, as we say, The peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace, and let me bless them with the light in me. The peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace, and let me bless them with the light in me. The peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace, and let me bless them with the light in me. How do you feel after this lesson? Isn't it astounding to realize once again that the peace within us all can have such a profound impact on the world? The world of illusions we live in tells us that our peace, happiness, or whatever we think we crave, will be found somewhere outside of ourselves. In that thing we need to buy, in that relationship we need to have, in those achievements, in the opinions of others, in their admiration, in their validation. A Course in Miracles teaches us instead that what we seek, we'll find within, that the light we have inside is what we are, and we are here to extend that light into the minds of our brothers. That's our purpose here on earth, and that's what will make us happy when we align our minds, hearts, and actions with that purpose. And it's not even something that we do from a sort of superior ground, because as we give, we receive. As we share our light with the world, the world helps us in return. Because at the end of the day, there's only one Son of God, we are all part of the One Sonship. There's only one of us here. The peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace, and let me bless them with the light in me. The peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace, and let me bless them with the light in me. The peace of God is shining in me now. Let all things shine upon me in that peace, and let me bless them with the light in me. You're doing great! Keep shining, and keep your heart open to the profound transformations we are bringing forth every day by following the teachings of A Course in Miracles. See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. Quick note before you go. Making these videos is a labor of love but it's still financially challenging. If you've found value in what you've watched, please consider supporting with a donation. Even the humblest contribution means the world and ensures the continuation of these daily lessons. Thank you for your generosity. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, we have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel, there's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.